welcome back. Tim here, Gamma Beauty. Great to see you again. Hot one today. Came out in the 40. Thought I'd check out these new Action Tracks recovery boards. We just started carrying these. Uh, pretty intrigued with these so far. So I wanted to get into some of the differences. Uh, obviously, the comparison between them and Max Tracks. What to expect with these things, and uh, hopefully set up a couple little scenarios where we can see how they work. So let's jump into it. It's gonna be fun. So to start, just what they look like dimensionally, lengthwise, they're almost exactly the same. Widthwise, same. Same exact number of little dots on the top. Same amount of handles. This distance for your pin mounts, exactly the same. You'd almost think they came from the same tool, right? I don't know. So don't let me start any rumors. I don't know the origin of these things, but boy, the similarities with the crisscross pattern of the little nubs on here, you just can't deny Max Tracks versus Action Tracks. There's gonna be some similarities. Of course, they got a little more jagged here, which I guess could be useful if you were trying to stab these down into some sand or mud. Um, but this isn't gonna make as good of a shovel because this material is really soft. You can see me flexing this thing here. We're on a Max Tracks. These are really, really rigid. So. That's what Action Tracks has brought to the party is a new material, a softer material, more pliable, and uh, they claim it'll help you get recovered better. So weight wise, the Action Tracks, tiny bit heavier, material feels a lot denser uh, than the Max Tracks, but boy, these sure feel, if you had one in each hand, it's hard to know the difference until you, uh, until you drop one. If I drop the Max Tracks, you know, nice high pitched plastic sound. If I drop this guy, a little bit lower pitch, so it's a little bit more like a you know a urethane or injection moldable silicone, but it's not that soft. It's you know we don't have a durometer at home, but you know these things are still plastic, but they're definitely soft. You can see me flexing this guy like that. There's no way you do that on a Max Track. So anyway, let me show you what I got set up here. So this is your typical eroded out trail that you're going to see just about anywhere. You got some high spots, you got a low spot. Of course, if you kept your tires level, you'd drive up this just fine. If you had any kind of a locker, a track, whatever, you're gonna hook up and do just great. But of course, we're gonna take a open diff FJ40 in low range with absolutely no momentum and terrible line spotting. And we're gonna try to get a wheel to spin. And then we're gonna see how these things compare with each other and if we can even tell a difference here. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna drive the 40 two-wheel drive, low range. I'm gonna idle it up this little track. I'm gonna put my back tire in the deepest part of that hole. See if it spins out, see if I get any momentum. I don't see what's gonna happen, but let's find out, okay? Check this out. Now I'm going to take my max tracks. I'm going to put it right on that spot where I was spinning out. We'll see if this gives me the uh, extra height, extra traction that I need to get through this little obstacle here. So it was kind of interesting. It, uh, it, it kind of shot the, the Max Tracks out, but that little height just gave that tire just enough to get up to where it, uh, it could gain traction again, had a little bit more weight on it when it was a little bit higher up on the hill. That allowed me to get out of that. So, all right, cool, one test down. I'm gonna do the exact same test now, this time with the Action Tracks, put in the exact same spot, see if we can see any difference there. Well, I must admit, I'm intrigued a little bit. No wheel spin, it didn't shoot the board out. Uh, I don't know if it's these little teeth that were able to dig in a little bit better, or maybe it's the softer material that allowed it to 
just grip to that tire a little bit better, but I, I kind of got to give the edge to this action tracks. That seemed to be a little bit less exciting of a recovery, which in the recovery world, that's, that's sort of what you're going for. You just want to get out of there and, and get on with your day. So, okay, well, we'll say plus one in the action tracks column. Uh, let's see if we can set up another one. Okay, here's one. So I've got the 40 on probably one of the worst lines you could choose to get through this thing here. I got it in four wheel drive now because I want to see if I can get this front tire to spin a little bit and then we get another comparison here. It's also a little bit of a deeper uh, ditch. So I want to see if we can see any comparison on the flex of these boards and, and how that might work in a recovery situation. So first let's just see if this gang can uh, idle through here without any board whatsoever. So that's coming up right now. So you called that one, right? You get crossed up, open diffs, things are just gonna spin, whoever has the least amount of resistance. So, but that's cool. That's what we're here to check out. So let me throw a, a max tracks in this gap now. We'll see how that works. So similar to no board at all, it just shot that board right out of the way and went right about peeling out. So let's see if there's any difference now on the action tracks. Okay, so it's not a miracle board. Kind of about the same result, right? Just shot that thing out. Again, it's the worst line you could have picked here. Sorry, Forty, but uh, you know, we're here to experiment. So now what do we do? Well, if we're spinning left front, that means we're spinning right rear, right? So now I'm gonna double up. So I'm gonna go two max tracks and two action tracks. We'll see if we get some results that might be a little bit different. Let's find out. All right, so I'm all set up here. I got my black max tracks for the left front there. My orange one is set up to grab that right rear. So see if we get a better result this time. Okay, so same result. Well, almost, I stalled it. So I guess I had more traction, uh, but I wasn't able to idle through this little ditch here. So again, not a miracle thing by any means, but that's all right, we're out here to try to push things and see what happens. So next experiment then, same exact setup. This time I've got action tracks, both front and rear, exact same spots, see if I can do the same line. And again, just idling in low range, four wheel drive. See if we get a different result here. Kind of about the same, really. So, not learning a lot other than, uh, you know, maybe the differences aren't that significant here. So, let me set up one more. I wanna just look at that flex to compare the two boards. So I'm gonna try to position them across this little ditch here and see if we can notice a little flex difference. So, here's the comparison. Kind of predictable, but uh, still interesting and worth noting. So here's the max track side over here. And uh, I can actually get my hand under here. You know, so right under the tire, it's flat to the ground, but a little bit more of a bridge on this side uh, with a gap underneath it, uh, certainly. And uh, again, the, uh, the ditch is even a little bit less severe on this side. And then over here, you can see the action tracks completely deformed by the tire. And it's conforming to the contour of the ground a little bit more. So uh, certainly more flexible with the action tracks. I could see a case where that helps you. I can maybe see a case where that doesn't help you but uh, just know that there's gonna be a good difference there between the two products. So price-wise between the two, they're about the same. Shouldn't be a factor. Availability, they appear to be readily available. Uh, if you're in the position where you could do two pair of traction boards, I'd really consider maybe one of each, uh, just in case there is an advantage in one situation. At least you got both of those to go for. Um, but yeah, I gotta hand it, Action Tracks. It's a contender here. It did really well today. 
one scenario might have done even a little bit better. So uh, pretty cool. This was fun. We'll do more of these. So there you go. I think for today we'll go ahead and call it. Not a whole lot more we can do here. And uh, let me just say right off the bat, that's hard, hard dirt and rock. Usually not where I'm using these things. These are most of the time they're coming out in snow or better yet sand. Uh, but if it's hard stuff, we're, we're usually doing a different recovery method than these boards. So maybe it wasn't the best test. We'll try to get to those other two in the future though, right? We'll get out there in the snow. Hard to do in June though. Geez, it's like 100 degrees today. So uh, cooking out here. But if we can find some sand, uh, we'll play there also. And I'd feel a little short change if I didn't show you that there is a little bit better line through the silly little ditch here. So let me show you that one real quick and then we'll get out of here. that'll do it folks thanks for being with me today as always send me your comments tell me what else you want to see i'll see you on the next one